Hope has a new home in the form of Hanover Place. This nine unit development that will house veterans who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. American Legion Post 45 Commander Bob Williams proud to see the project completed. Well, I think they're long overdue. I think uh, our veterans don't get the respect they, uh, they need, especially our veterans from Vietnam. So I think it's a wonderful project. Governor Lamont, Meriden Mayor Kevin Scarpati, and other state and local officials also on hand to cut the ribbon and discuss the project's importance. It's housing so that folks who grew up in Meriden can stay here, so that folks that work in Meriden can uh, live where they work. It's housing so that veterans who have served their country can afford to be here in a town like this. It's also something that I think goes unnoticed is the effect that homelessness has on our veterans population. With more than half a million Americans experiencing homelessness every single day as we live and breathe, it's important to note that one in five of homeless males are veterans. And the timing of Tuesday's ribbon cutting coming just one day before Veterans Day not lost on this crowd. That we acknowledge uh, all the sacrifice of the men and women in our armed forces and to the veterans that are here today with us, thank you for your sacrifice and your service to protect us. As of now, four tenants have been approved to move in and applications are still being reviewed as the city works on certificates of occupancy. The project was funded by $1.65 million in state grants from the Connecticut Department of Housing, as well as public-private partnerships, all under the direction of the Meriden Housing Authority. Reporting in Meriden, Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.